hey guys yeah <laughs> how are you trust you enjoyed your week so a little bird told me that you've been missing me so here i am again Ta -da! <laughs> so the pregnancy myth that we would be dealing with today is a very special one but before we go further please subscribe to my channel please please and if you have subscribed thank you so much so today's pregnancy myth is the safety pin pregnancy myth yeah you heard me the safety pin pregnancy myth the journey of pregnancy have been has been described as one leading with uncertainties for many women many women and especially first time mom they are overwhelmed by garments of information that are available to them this period many women expectant mothers are in the habit of attaching safety pins to their clothes during pregnancy yeah with the belief that these safety pins will ward off evil spirits that wants to harm their babies this is a practice that have been passed on from one generation to the other generation if you grew up in lagos you would agree with me that the safety pin myth didn't just start today and if you don't agree fine the next time you see a pregnant woman stylishly look at her tummy to see find out if she attached a safety pin on her dress mommy do you know that some pregnant women they even go as far as adding these safety pins to their waist beads ah, yes seriously they do but do you know that mommy that this safety pins you're attaching to your waist waist beads that you're attaching to your clothes do you know that there are potentially harmful effects that might be associated with them yeah you might argue with me that there are no documentation of any complication that are that is as a result of safety pin fine no problem but mommy do you know that these pins might go off and stick to your stomach which can cause you harm serious harm for that matter yeah serious harm serious harm it, it, it might harm you and your baby also accidental pain injuries have been associated with infection bleeding skin abscess scarring you infection there have also been reports of accidental ingestion of safety pins by children found in the home environment. Mommy, please, mommy, I beg you, stop it. Desist from using safety pin. The only person that can secure, secure your safety is God. It's only God that can secure you and your baby. Yes, only God. God is greater, bigger than the biggest safety pin in the world. So anytime you're tempted to use these safety pins, please always remember that God is watching over you. Remember that he cares for you, that nothing will happen to your baby. Yeah, don't forget that. So our food tips for this week is sweet potatoes yay sweet potatoes <laughs> oh yeah why should you eat sweet potatoes yeah i'll tell you why one because sweet potatoes are very delicious meal and it is rich in vitamin a and vitamin a is very essential for your baby's growth it is also rich in ample plant-based source of fiber that keeps you full. No pregnant woman and food. <laughs> it also reduces sugar spikes and improves digestive system. Yeah, it improves your digestive health. Especially when, when it comes to pregnancy constipation. Ah, trust me, it's not pleasant at all. So, mommy, for a very fabulous breakfast, make sure you eat sweet potato but you know i always advise you to do everything in moderation yeah so our exercise tip for this week 
is deep breathing. Deep breathing. <laughs> deep breathing is a safe exercise which can be done in any trimester unless the doctor said no. You know, I always tell you before you practice anything, ask the doctor when next you visit the hospital. So now let's begin. Place one hand on your chest and the other on your abdomen. Sorry, you can't see my abdomen. <laughs> Yeah. So imagine your body is a balloon which is filled with air. Let your lungs fill up. Let your rib cage expand and let your abdomen bulge and expand right up to your pelvis. Mommy, do not hold your breath. Now exhale slowly through your mouth. This breathing exercise will be very beneficial for you and will prepare you during labor. <laughs> As your pregnancy progresses, so does your baby. Your baby grows too. And this baby, as your baby is growing, the baby is pressing on your rib cage. And this will reduce your breathing capacity which can also lead you to breathlessness so by engaging in deep breathing practices will help you increase your breathing capacity so mommy start breathing <laughs> start exercising your deep breathing until i come your way again i remain your girl joy bye Mwah.